Hi guys, welcome to my channel, I'm Fryman7, this is episode 2 of our Barcelona save and we've got our first two competitive matches of the series uh, against Seville in the Supercopa de España final and also against Villarreal at home. Now there have been some slight changes, if you remember uh, I did say that I'll be coming back to play our first league game against Betis uh, but you might notice there's been a change of fixtures and the reason that is is because, um, I don't know, again, if you remember if I said at the start of the last episode, the fact that I wasn't sure how good this database was. It didn't look right to me. Well, I decided to have a quick look up and reload the save, but um, make sure that I uh, selected the new um, updated database with obviously all the transfers, etc., which is in the link in the description um, and it turns out that I didn't actually load up the previous save with that database so there is a slight change to our team and everything again I'm trying to make it clear out but you will notice that obviously we've got um, Frankie De Jong in the sides uh, he's got some fantastic stats some stats do need improving but he's only 21 years old um, I don't know if there's anyone else here but we'll have a look at the transfers Look at the transit history. So, obviously, um, we've got NATO in. So, we've not got... I can't remember what goalkeeper we had before. Sillison. Obviously, he's left the club. We've got NATO in goal now, who we brought in from... Was it Valencia or somewhere like that? Um, yep, yeah, Valencia. Uh, Arda Tram, we have sold. Uh, for 2 million to West Ham. We've sold Semedo to Liverpool for 17.25 million. It could go up to 20 million. Plus, we've got a 50% sell-on clause. So, if he does go anywhere, we'll get a bit of money later on in the series, hopefully. Uh, any other players? Obviously, the big one that we have got in, there's the four that we discussed previously. Uh, but the big one here is the fact that we've got Anton Griezmann at the club. So, this is the actual database, guys. If you looked at it last time and said, yeah, that looks a bit weird. It was weird. I didn't, <laughs> I didn't update the data. Well, I did update it, but I didn't click on it in the, uh, the database section. So, uh this is the actual database, guys. That's the team that we've gone with. I'm still trying to bring in some players because, uh, again, I'll go into the squad depth. We are quite weak. Uh, again, I was trying to sell Suarez. We might keep him. I've given myself a deadline. Um, actually, I think the transfer window has gone. Was it the transfer window on the first? I can't remember. I'm going crazy. But, um, obviously, there's some players I'm after. Kieran Tierney, I wanted to get in at left back. Obviously, back up for Alba. Uh, Saul and uh, Dale Apocamo, looking to get them in. I need some fast centre-backs because obviously we, we play a high line. Um, there's been some interest in Suarez and Alina. And obviously, I'm trying to track Brenner, uh, but I don't believe he will get a work permit just yet. So, um, that is the gist of it. If you missed a previous episode, guys... Make sure you check it out. I'll leave the link above. I, keep, I, I can never remember which finger it is. This one. The, 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 there. So I round up there somewhere. That will be the link for the first episode if you missed it. Just giving you more of an in-depth review of uh, how we're starting the plan for this save. But I just want to get cracking this one. Um, last day, I've just come back in from... Um, or come back YouTubing after a break. So I'm trying to get in as many games as possible because... Um, Obviously, we've got a few saves going on now, uh, but I'm just enjoying playing Football Manager again because I, I, I haven't played it in over a month. Uh, and now I've come back, I've got my saves set up. Um, like I said, check out the other saves, guys. I've really enjoyed making them as well. Uh, and if you are new to the channel, guys, make sure you hit the subscribe button. Click that notification bell as well. And um, hit hit that like button as well if you like. Show the, show the video and the channel some love, guys. Uh, make sure you do that. But we're going to crack on with this game. Uh, and we're quite weak as a squad at the moment. We need to bring in some players. I, again, I can't remember. I, I thought the transfer window was the 1st of August. But maybe it's later. So I, I will check that afterwards. So this is the squad that I'm going to go for. I'm going to start with this. I'm going to bring PK in. Uh, but we're going to have Mtiti, PK, Alba, Roberto, Ter Stegen at the back. And then Dijon, Vidal, Rakitic in midfield. Griezmann, Messi, uh, Dembele, I'm going to take off for Luis Suarez, get him on, uh, and hopefully we can do something special here today, I need to get these guys off, because 
Uh, obviously, they're not going to play. I think I only get seven subs. I can't remember. Uh, but So, first game. First chance to win a trophy as Barcelona manager. Remember, we're going for this 4-3-3 attacking formation that I used in my two-game FM League save with um, Crystal Palace. Obviously, an eSports... Uh, or not eSports, but it's competitive online FM. So um, I have got some videos on there. Check them out if you want. I haven't added the playlist, but uh, uh, and I've stopped putting videos of that. But uh, if you want to see some action there, if this um, tactic turns out well, because obviously I've only used it with Crystal Palace, really. I've done a couple of saves where I've tried it out. Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. Um, but if it does work with Barcelona and works well, I will post a video uh, for the formation, guys. And if you want to do so, then make sure you leave um, leave a comment in the comment section, guys. Let me know if you want to see a video of this formation, uh, where obviously I break it down in more detail, show you clips of goals, uh, and really analyse the tactic. Uh, but let me know if you want to see that. But for now, we are two minutes into this game against Seville. Nothing much has happened, but Jong is on the ball. And um, the good thing about this formation is very direct. It's very quick getting the ball forward. Roberto hits the ball long. And Vidal now picks it up. Jordi Alba. What can he do? De Jong on the edge of the box. Roberto, who has had a fantastic preseason. He scored some beautiful goals. But Jesus Navas, who has rejoined them by the looks of it from Man City, uh, had the ball on the wing, but he lost it. So good defending there from the boys. Again, nothing much is happening. But Jordi Alba is now on the left-hand side, bringing it forward. Cuts it long, looking for Roberto. And he's been brought down by Escudero. Escudero. Yeah, that's how you say it. And VAR has decided it will be a penalty. And nine minutes into our first game. And we could be 1-0 up. We could have one hand on this trophy, which I can't remember what it's called. España de Final. And Vidal steps up and smashes it in the top corner. We lead 1-0 against Seville here. And I'm hoping, what I'm hoping from this save and this tactic is the fact that we score a lot and a lot and a lot of goals. I want to see pure attacking um, football from Barcelona. Just like they used to. But um, no more of this tick attacker, tick attacker, tick attacker. I want to see full on Pump that ball forward, smack it in, lots of goals. And as you can see from the game so far, we are dominating the game. But um, not nothing too much has happened. But Alba with a long throw. Rakitic looking for Vidal. Finds PK at the edge of the box. Dijon there looking for his first goal in the Barcelona shirt. And he spanks it over the bar. So close there. So close. Vidal now. Not our Vidal, but Seville's Vidal. Heads it clear. Ever Benega, player I used to sign on footy man back in the day when he was a, a 15, 16 year old for Argentina. Quality player. Rocco Messa now on the ball. Esquerdo, who gave away the penalty, finds Jordan and Ter Stegen with a good save. And now he's only rated as a three star keeper at the moment. He has got the potential to be five star, but he is very good on the game. There are some goalkeepers on this game that are five star or four and a half, four star, and they are awful. Um, so let me know what goalkeepers have you guys had. Leave that in the comments section. Have any of you managed Courtois and actually managed to see him do well? Because I've never seen anyone get good performances out of Courtois. He always concedes stupid amounts of goals. We went close there. Could have got another one. But we're again on the attack. Full on attack and football. Just like we wanted. Griezmann loses the ball. And Navas now picks it up. Can we be hit on the counter-attack? Roque Messer. And the, the highlight has ended. No more of that highlight. No more of that highlight. And it looks like we're going to go in at half-time 1-0. Only a penalty. Not what we wanted. We've seen we've seen some action, but not as much as I wanted. And uh, obviously, we've only scored the one goal so far. We are away from home. So I'm happy that we're 1-0 up. But uh, my assistant has, win has said, win this trophy for yourselves, but also the fans. This has been, um, they've been magnificent and deserve success. Yes, they have. Yes, they have. And I just want to quickly check my settings. That's all fine. I don't know why I've got it on extended. For some reason, my computer keeps putting this on extended highlights, even though my preferences are set up on key highlights. And I keep changing it to key highlights in every single save. But for some reason, it keeps on putting it on extended. But a chance there, and it's just gone wide. I don't know what happened there. It looked like the keeper dropped the ball. 
And I'll play a slid in. I didn't even know which player it would, but um, he couldn't finish it. Couldn't find the target there. Escudero with a good cross in. Ben Yedda coming in at the back post. And Alba really should have picked up the run there, but he didn't. And it, it, we're lucky to be 1 0 ahead still, but no more goals so far. We might need to make a change. Got 20 minutes left to go. Remember, our players are very unfit at the moment, which is probably why we're not doing so well. I'm going to bring on Busquets for De Jong, uh, and I'm tempted to bring on Coutinho for Rakitic and Dembele for Suarez. There we go. See what we can get on there. Can Dembele give us a bit more width? Obviously, he is a winger. He doesn't really play well as a forward, or his stats don't. Uh, like him being a forward, but we'll see. It'd be good if we could see more information on this. It's a bit small, isn't it? But oh well, never mind. We've got the rest on the side. Roberto, surely the game's gonna, the whistle's gonna go soon. Dembele nearly setting up a goal there, but it's headed clear, and we have won our first trophy of the series. We've beaten Seville one 0 with Arturo Vidal penalty in the tenth minute after Escudero brought down. I think it was Roberto that he brought down, but a good performance there. To be honest, a 1-0 win. We dominated. Should have been a lot more than that. Um, congratulations. There we go. I'm not going to be horrible and say that was a shit performance. I'll just say congratulations. Uh, and what we're going to do is... What else is happening there? So I'm just reading the stats there. Another Super Copa de España. So obviously that, that was the, the trophy they won. The Super Copa de España. Um, I believe it's a bit like the Charity Shield, to be fair. Uh, the, obviously, the team that wins the league versus the team that wins the cup. So, uh, a good start. We've won our first trophy. And, um, obviously, we're coming back for the first game of the league season against Villarreal. Like I said, I'm not, I, I swear the transfer window has closed. But, if I have any updates, guys, I will let you know before we come back for the next game. So I've just checked the rules for the Liga, uh, just to double check the transfer window, and it actually ends on the 31st of August. So uh, the transfer window is still open, guys. There is potential players leaving and players coming in. So um, if anything does happen in terms of that before the next game against Villarreal, then uh, obviously I'll bring it to your attention. Uh, but if I literally go straight into the next game, then it means nothing has happened so far. So... Um, We'll see what happens. Guys, remember, hit that like button if you're liking the video so far. Leave in the comments section um, any comments you have on this video. And um, we will just crack on now and get ready for the game against Villarreal. So we've got news, people. We made our first sign-in as Barcelona manager. Uh, as you can see, we've signed Kieran Tierney from Celtic for a fee of £24.5 million. Pounds. Uh, fortunately, he doesn't speak any Spanish, so I'm going to have to send him on an extensive Spanish lesson, uh, maybe with, um, what's his face, uh, Lionel Messi. Um, Messi's going to welcome him to the club. He's 21 years old, so at the moment he's back up for Alba. Currently three and a half star, but he's classed as an important player and can still improve. Uh, and apparently the fans are pleased with the signing of him. He's only on 40 grand a week. Um... We're going to register him now, but there are some potential other signings coming in, but we need players to leave first because I've got no money left after this deal. So you got to remember we have, um, we didn't have a lot of money to start off with. So uh, yeah, what we're going to have to do, I'll put him as number 19, is we are going to have to let some of the players go. So I have offered some of our players to other squads. Let's see what happens. Hopefully we can sell some of them. If not, I'll see you at the uh, Villarreal game. All right, so I just want to keep you guys updated as well with the, the, some of the players that we're trying to get rid of. Luis Suarez, Philip Coutinho, Busquets, Dembele, Rakitic, Vidal. <clears throat> For some reason, no one's interested in these players. And I'm offering all of these less than £55 million each. Which is really, really weird. I don't know why no one's coming in for them. Hopefully, towards the end of the window, someone will come in. Um, but you know what? I'm not finding it promising. It's very likely that these players are going to leave. Um, and now, for some reason, Dembele, he missed training because he wanted to leave. I find him two weeks' wages. And now he wants to stay. What the fuck is going on? 
<laughs> okay. <laughs> Accept request, if that's what makes you happy, son. If that's what makes you happy, but I'm going to try and get rid of you nonetheless. Because obviously you don't fit in with my formation. So, well, we'll see what happens. Like I said, hopefully we can um, get rid of some of these players. It's looking more and more unlikely. Some of the guys, like Vidal Rakitic, they can play in my formation. It's just that the fact that they're old that I want to get rid of them. The, the main players I want to get rid of are Dembele because, uh, and Coutinho because they really do not fit in that formation at all. Oh, Sule, who is a defender, obviously, that we're after, he has requested a transfer. So one thing I'm going to do here is I'm just going to take this off. Zero pounds, zero profit. Uh, but I am going to offer them. Who should I offer them? Biscuits? Rakitic? I'll offer them Coutinho. See what they say to that. Straight swap. If I can't get money for these players, then if I can do a straight swap, then that would help. Obviously, it's going to cost them quite a bit more in wages, but they're getting probably a player that's worth more than Sule. Uh, but obviously, defender's what I need. Coutinho's not in a position that I need. So, uh, he's... he's He's going to have to go. He's going to have to go. And unfortunately, uh, that's the way it is. So I think I'm going to line up with the same squad that um, beat Seville uh, for this game against Villarreal. Obviously, we've got Kieran Tierney. So I brought him on the bench in place of Coutinho. Uh, it'd be interesting to see how we perform in this game. We're at home. So you'd like to think that we're going to score quite a few goals. But obviously, we, we struggled um, in the first game. Uh, but I'm f I'm feeling confident. I'm feeling confident. I think we should be able to at least get a win in this game. But I don't I don't feel confident in winning the league. If I'm going to be honest with you guys, uh, just for, purely for the fact that um, some of these players are just too old and not good enough to be playing for Barcelona now. Um, but we've got a chance. Suarez with a chance. He heads the ball wide. So early opportunity there for Luis Suarez. Couldn't hit the target. And now Villarreal are on the attack. Penner on the ball. Looking for Santi Cazula. What a legend. Bruno's long ball over the top. is headed clear by Roberto. De Jong picks it up. And now Barcelona can hit on the attack. De Jong. Long ball over the top. Over Griezmann. What a strike. <laughs> Boom in your face. Oh, come on, ref. That was not offside. Never. He's going to VAR. Fucking VAR. VAR in this game is bloody ridiculous. Don't disallow. That was well onside. What's he going to say? What's he going to say? TV. The goal is confirmed. Let's Right. Perfect. Let's have another look at that goal. De Jong. We're going to zoom out for the... No, we can't zoom out for it. But a great ball over. Griezmann. First time volley. Bottom corner. What a way to, to mark your Barcelona league debut. And there you can see he was well onside. Two defenders were in front of him. Uh, but they just left him open. And a superb ball. And a great goal for Griezmann there. And then Titi going close with a header. But it's just gone wide of the post. 22 minutes gone. Barcelona 1, Villarreal 0. Griezmann with the only goal so far. And Villarreal have not even had a shot at goal. Roberto winning the ball back there looking for Suarez. He's been brought down by the referee's play on. And Costa now looks for Pedraza. He's lost the ball again to Roberto De Jong. Well, he's still running with it. Looks for Griezmann. Can he get a second? But he's put it wide of the post. And Griezmann's having a good game today. He didn't really see any of him in the previous game. Roberto with a long throw on. Albi has a clear. Looking for Vidal. Vidal back to Roberto. Back in the box. Rakitic has been brought down. Is it a penalty to Barcelona? And... Oh, who would guess? He's going to look at VAR because he can't make a bloody decision by himself. What an idiot. Ruben Penner. Ruben Penis. What was he going to say? Penalty? No penalty? Oh... It's a penalty. There we go. Can't see it himself because he's blind. No point in having bloody linesmen. And fourth and fifth officials as well on the line. They're bloody standing there. Oh, no. It's the same linesman. He just he just wanted to stand behind the goal. Fair enough. But Vidal gets his second penalty of the season. We lead 2-0 against Villarreal. And a good start to the league campaign. And goals. Which is what we wanted. Two goals already in this game. Can we get more? I think it's a bit... A bit too early to ask for double figures. But hopefully when we get players in that will suit our formation, uh, then we will be able to get some double figure games. That is the aim, people. That is the aim. Suarez with a chance. It's the post. One front. has hit the ball. Oh, blah, blah, blah. I can't even speak. Away for a throw on. Villarreal have had a shot, actually, in this game now. 
one shot to our 12 shots. Uh, but it looks like the half-time whistle is going to go. Roberto's been booked. He needs to watch himself. And I'm really, I'm really tempted to bring on Tierney. We lead 2-0. The game is over. Um, I'm just going to be calm and say don't get complacent. But what I am going to do is I'm going to bring on Kieran Tierney for his debut. I want to present him to the fans. Alba's got a yellow card as well, so he needs to be careful. So Kieran Tierney, how will he do um, in his first appearance? And he's already driving forward on that left wing. He's, remember, he's a left back, people, but he's pretty much playing attacking, attacking midfield on the left. Roberto on the ball now with a throw on looking for Vidal. He plays it to PK. He's going to bring it forward, look for De Jong. He finds Rakitic. What's Rakitic going to do? A long ball over top. And there's Tierney's first touch. Wins it across. And what a first touch by Kieran Tierney. His first touch and he whips the ball into the box for Luis Suarez to score his first goal of the season. One touch for Tierney. One assist. Let's have another look at that goal. Rakitic found him superbly there. Tierney, okay, one touch. Two touches it took for Kieran Tierney to get his first assist for the club. A great ball into the box for Luis Suarez. And what a signing. Only 25 million. Is he going to prove to be a bargain? Will he keep Jordi Alba out of the squad? He's already done more than this season. And the long goal kick is headed clear by Tierney. Good touch by him. Rakitic finds Griezmann. Whips it across to Suarez and it's 4-0. <coughs> Sorry about that, guys. But the goals seem to be flying in now. Barcelona 4, Villarreal 0. Luis Suarez with a second of the game. Tierney winning the header there. Fan Rakitic. Long ball over the top to Griezmann. Good touch. Whip the ball across. And that, again, is a good thing about this formation. You've got Griezmann and Suarez stretching the play. They can then put the ball in the box to Messi. But Messi hasn't really done much. And um, we'll see what he does up until halfway through to the season. Like I said, I've never, ever, 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 ever been able to get a good performance out of Messi in versus mode. And it'll be interesting to see how he does on the save. And if any of you guys have had good performances or managed to play well with Messi in the side, let me know what you do, how you play him, what position you play him in, what um, instructions you give him, because he's really not doing anything here, but oh, Lionel Messi has just scored. We're talking about how he's not done anything in the game. And he's literally curled a free kick beautifully into the top corner, despite having a little knock. What a free kick that was right in the top corner. The keeper pushed it in. And we're halfway to double figures already. Barcelona 5 in around now. Can we get a sixth goal? And Titi with a long throw on. And the keeper makes the save. Surely the whistle is going to go. Long kick forward. Surely that's it. PK now. Is there another chance to Barcelona? Rakitic. No, the whistle's gone. The whistle is gone by Mr. Penner. Wherever his name was. And we have won... One say Mr. Penner before, his name is Gonzalez Gondalas, Junior, or Jose, whatever you want to call him. But a great performance by the boys there. A 5-0 win. That is what we want to see. Plenty of shots, 28 shots, 5 goals. There you have it, boys and girls. What a performance. I appreciate your efforts, but... Luis Suarez played very well. So, I'm pleased with how you did. And uh, where's Kieran Tierney... I want to say well done to him because he done very well when he came on. Um, I'm pleased with how he did tonight. There we go. Keep him happy. New sign at the club. And as you see, five-star Bar Barcelona triumph. So um, I'm not going to, in this episode, cover any more transfers. Like I say, hopefully we can get some players to leave. Hopefully we can get some players in. Defence seems to be my priority. I want, want some fast centre-backs, especially playing a high line. Um, but can only do so much can't you but what we're going to do now guys i'm going to play a few games we're probably going to come back for this game against real madrid and um, because it's so close we'll probably play um a champions league game as well by the looks of it on the wednesday so real madrid and a champions league game in the next episode guys make sure you stay tuned for that um these episodes will be out every wednesday at 7 p.m so uh, if you have liked it, click that subscribe button. Um, hit that like button for me, guys. Show me some love. And um, we will see you next Wednesday. Thank you very much. Take care.